There we go. Everybody can hear us okay? All right. Coach, why don't you just open us up with just a quick statement on uh, preparation for the game today, yes. and then we'll go into questions. Yeah, a very big game today. and um, Just kind of been talking in the past couple of days about um, our matching their physicality, um, being physical on their guards, being physical on their posts, um, try to get to back to our running game. And, um, you know, obviously this is a huge game with big implications, but again, um, the focus has to be our mindset um, going into it, our schemes, making sure we're locked in, being focused and um, just ready to compete today. All right, let's open it up. Uh, Jeff Brown, why don't you kick us off, Jeff, go ahead. Hey coach, so you kind of touched on it there, but like a game this early is never a must win, especially with you guys being number one in the standings, but a win today like is would probably almost guarantee you guys the commissioner cup. It would give you guys season series uh, victories over both Vegas and Connecticut who are currently in second and third. Like, do you guys as a coaching staff kind of look at this as like a really, really important game? Definitely. Definitely. Um, without kind of re relaying that more so than the sense of urgency of it, understanding that, you know, obviously we know, the players know as well, the implications um, in big picture that this game kind of um, presents. But, um, you know, without looking too far ahead, right, we talk about staying in the moment and being in the moment. What is being in the moment look like for today? And in particular, it's us um, utilizing what we've learned over these past few days to get better and implement it in today against a very formidable opon opponent. Understanding that, yes, we know um, if we're both on this path right now that, you know, toward the end of the year, this is some a, a team that we will potentially see. But at the end of the day, today presents another the challenge within itself. How do we get better? How do we um, defend better? How, we, how do we move the ball better? Um, so that we are able to get to where we want to be. Definitely. And then uh, obviously Vegas is an extremely talented team in their four losses this season. Does anything kind of stand out? I mean, obviously you guys are one team that was able to beat them, um, but does anything kind of stand out as, as ways to beat them? Yes. Um, defending them without fouling. So we can't put them on the free throw line, particularly Asia Wilson. She's shooting at a high clip this year, 90, 92%. I'm getting there about six times a game. Um, you know, being physical, you know, without talking statistics, just understanding that we have to match their physicality. Um, we will see physicality, but they do not fail as well. So I think our, our concentration has to be more so focusing on finishing than try to get get um, the, the fouls called. Um, and the other as uh, end of that, um, they, they don't like to foul, but also um, they, can, they can foul, you know what I mean? Um, offensively getting into our running game, we talk about pace all the time. They have a high pace, uh, we're, we're high and fast break points, um, but getting Liz and their post players to defend more side to side and in the open court uh, with our spacing, that's what you saw in the first game of the season, we're able to get our pace generated. And the last thing is what Minnesota did very well was they were able to congest and kind of guard one-on-one -on -one to stay out of rotations and finish plays with rebounds. You see the physicality that Minnesota presented um, and, and, and you have to match, you have to match Vegas's physicality. Awesome. Thank you, coach. No problem. All right. Thanks. Let's go to uh, Fago Franklin. Fago, go ahead. Hey, how you doing coach? Good. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. What does it mean to you to, to be coaching this recent rivalry between the storm and aces and how do you stop Asia Wilson? <laughs> yeah, that's a great <laughs> question. It, 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 <laughs> When you find out the answer, <laughs> please tell me, okay? Um, you, you know, it's not about stopping her more so than containing her and understanding where her strengths lie. You know, if we, we're able for, uh, if she's able to get into her sweet spots, if she's able to get to the free throw line, she's able to get into the flow, that's playing into her strengths. Um, we have to, again, be physical with Asia, understand we can't, um, we cannot foul her. Uh, we have to make her defend. We have to make her, she's playing high minutes and that rotation is very thin. So, you know, getting her to play on the other side of the floor. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we stop her more so than 
taking her off restraints and and trying to contain her and, and hoping she doesn't go off for 30. <laughs> it's a big, <laughs> it's a big game today. And you talk rivalry, you talk matchup, and you know, obviously we're in the finals with them last year. Um, so, you know, I understand it. I, I'm juiced right now. If you guys cannot tell, I am super amped. I'm super excited about this game just because of the opportunity that we have to get better and to just play against a very good opponent. And my last question is, I know this team talks about playing together and holding each other accountable. What does it mean to you that you have great leaders on a team that leads by example day in and day out? Yeah, it makes our jobs as coaches a little bit easier in that when your players are able to hold each other accountable, that's one less thing that we have to continue need to do um, when you're eight, when you're, your your star players or your best players or your veteran players are, are constantly showing um, verbalizing how, how how things should be done but showing by example I think that's the best form of leadership and and, and those of us you know our young players or you know players who are new to our team have have no other um, choice but to follow that that example so it for us it takes not the onus off of us but it takes a little bit of responsibility off in a way when your team can talk with one another get on one another and just uh, hold each other to this uh, high level of, of, of high standard all right thank you coach no problem thanks Vega appreciate it uh, M Adler go ahead and wrap us up today M Morning, Coach. Just wanted to ask, start off with, um, so the Aces are going to be your last opponent before the Olympic break that are uh, over 500. Obviously, they're well over 500. But does that present sort of a unique opportunity for you? This is the last, like, really highly competitive game going into that long break? Yeah, you know, and it's, 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 we have a tough stretch, honestly, and we talk about night in, night out about the, the competition that this league presents. And sometimes a, a subpar team, sub 500 team is a tough opponent for that night as well. But, you know, having the ability to see where we are at the halfway point of our season, um, it, it, it's huge for us um, to be playing Vegas at this point of the season where we're each kind of not where we want to be, in my opinion, peaking towards something um but seeing where we are um at this particular day this particular moment against of again a very 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 good opponent great um and then just to finish up wanted to ask i don't know if you saw um anything from the liberty game last night but sammy whitcomb had a career high 30 points just wanted to ask what do you make of her season especially amid that performance and why in your words why you think she should be voted in the all-star game mm. Uh, taking out the bias, <laughs> trying to take out the bias. I love that Sammy is having a great year. Obviously, being her teammate, there's one particular picture I always think about in the finals in 2018 when she hits the shot. She's looking at the bench. We talk about that picture all the time. So we go back, you know, or that's my eight, my day one, and I'm just ex I'm so excited that she's having a great year because she put the work she puts the work in. And the days that she's shooting great, she's still coming into the gym early, getting her shots and her workout her workouts in um, the days that she's not shooting great she's doing the same exact thing and the work ethic that she showed day one is the same work ethic that she showed day whatever this day it is for her um, and for that I think that she should definitely be an all-star just because the the work she puts in now the performance and the product that she's showing on a night in night night out basis not just the three points she's now playing point guard for them a little bit you know showing a little bit of versatility as well being the veteran for that team I am a forever saying with comfort you don't mm -hmm. know great thank you so much yeah no problem all right, thanks everybody. We'll see you after the game. I don't know if that's tampering. <laughs> <laughs>